Now, I've done a lot of confirmed transfer stuff at the minute, okay? And it's time to do a big rumor episode. Possibly the biggest rumor episode you're going to see ever. I'm not even going to lie to you, ever. The biggest players in the world are featured in this episode, okay? The biggest players are rumored to be leaving their clubs. And, you know, we're, we're not leaving. We're going big, all right? All I'm going to say right now is we are going big. Now, in this episode, I've also partnered up with Champions 11. I'm going to be showing you their game throughout this video as well. Very exciting game. You're going to love it. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to love it. Their link will be in the top of the description. You can download the game over there free of charge on the app store and like i say it's gonna be good i promise you it's gonna be good i'll show you for the video anyway but let's get on to the rumors now as always for a transit video it'd be great to get a like below that'd be absolutely you know insane and thank you to champions 11 for obviously supporting the content as always now the biggest rumor that's happened last few days is gareth bell and this is a very interesting one so obviously manchester united a club that's been interested in him since he was probably a youngster but we all know what happened in the champions league final we all know he banged the goals and in the interview afterwards he said you know he hadn't been playing enough and something's got to change and he will speak to his agent in the summer. Now, that's fantastic, of course. You know, we want to see him back in the Premier League. We really, really do. But a lot has changed since that interview. Zidane's obviously left his job at Real Madrid. What does that mean for Gareth Bale? Does that mean Gareth Bale is going to get the new manager come in and he's going to think, you know what, this guy's going to play me all the time, so I'll stay at Real Madrid? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see exactly what happens there. But there's a few articles in a minute saying Ed Woodward, who's like the chief executive of Man United, is very confident over the Gareth Bale move. So we'll have to see if they can work some sort of magic. I can't help but feel if Gareth Bale joins this means players like Martial, unfortunately Rashford, they're going to be shown the door maybe. Hopefully, I, I beg Rashford doesn't. We need a homegrown player, seriously. But that is one of the biggest transfer news going around in the minute. Gareth Bale and Man United, do you think it's going to happen? Let me know in the comment section down below. Next up, we've got Mo Salah to Barcelona. Mo Salah, obviously the best season of his life and, you know, one of the top three players in the world this season. Definitely Messi, Ronaldo, Salah. I mean, that probably is the top three this year, the way he's performed. I'm not even going to lie. This is from a Man United fan. Now, he's been brilliant and no doubt, of course, because of such a good season he's had. He's got a lot of interest from big clubs like Barcelona who can definitely afford him. Apparently, according to the Express article here, it says Mohamed Salah uses Lionel Messi to make Barcelona decision. So this decision's come about because Griezmann's playing up a little bit. They don't know if he's going to go to Barcelona. They don't know if he's going to sign a new contract. They don't know what's going on with Griezmann's situation. So they have turned their attention slightly to Mo Salah. Can they get Mo Salah instead of Griezmann? That'll be a big transfer. Now the fees they've been chucked about for this guy are something in the, something in the region of about 200 million euros. So we're talking New transfer record, probably. Well, it's on a par with Neymar's sort of fee, isn't it? Like, it's sort of, sort of on a par. But that's the positive. You know, they do have the Neymar money, Barcelona. So, they're just reinvesting it in, you're obviously, obviously improving their squad. So, there we go. Two players. Massive, massive transfers. Loads of stuff going on. Now, what I'm going to do is jump into the Champions Eleven, As you guys can tell... I'm a little bit hot and sweaty right now. I just had a shower. I just got back from football and I recorded this earlier in the day before football as well. So I recorded the gameplay of me playing before football. Then I went to football and yeah, I'm in a, I'm in different stuff now. I can't wear the same hot, sweaty football stuff, can I? I'll show you Champions 11 anyway. Now for me, I've been playing this game a little bit, well, a little bit too much recently, okay? So this is me starting off, okay? This is, I'm going to show you my sort of progress and where I got to and, you know, what's sort of happening. So yes, of course, this is a a very good game in my opinion of course I'm gonna say that one of the big interesting facts I found about this as you guys can see on the screen right now Pep Guardiola is in the game that is right he's like one of the, the affiliated guys in this game if you like so he's gonna be managing the team alongside you so I'm gonna manage a team as you, you, can, you can do on loads of different games out there and stuff like that but this is different you got Pep as your assistant now Pep Guardiola this guy is the global ambassador okay for champion 11 so if you want some sort of ambassador or you know to be like helping you in management and stuff he's probably gonna be the guy that's just won the Premier League he's just obviously signed a new contract with Manchester City as well we've got Gabriel Jesus he's also here once again as well he's gonna be probably up front for my team so champion is 11 okay if you guys don't know what it is it is obviously a football management mobile game so you can play it on you know your iPhone if you want you know you can play it on there that is going to be in the description down below if you guys if you want to download it of course it is down below the link is there so good thing about this game is it's authorized by FIFA Pro okay so it's got loads of clubs in it I think over like a hundred clubs something like that including like Premier League, Serie A, Liga 1 loads of different clubs and loads, loads of different leagues are actually in this game so as you guys can see on the screen I'm just about starting out I'm actually choosing a sponsor okay because obviously you know every club's got to have sponsors we're going to have a look at the schedule as well we're going to have a look at bonuses we're going to have a look at the new matches and stuff like that. I'm about to go into my first friendly match, okay? Because I don't have too much at the minute. Obviously, I've just started the game. As you guys can see, here's my squad. Loads of players there, but no one you're going to recognise other than Gabriel Jesus, 
who is in my reserves, okay, who's obviously, you know, the game is given to me, if the game's given to me, obviously you'd be probably giving him as well, so, he is the best player I've got, he is going to be the main striker, he's going to be up front for me, hopefully he can bang me the goals. Now, as you guys can see on the screen, okay, this game has got some stunning 3D graphics, okay, which is, you know, very, very good, this is for a mobile game as well, these graphics are very, very good, I'm about to go into my first friendly, I'm hoping I can get a win, I'm hoping Gabriel is just going to sort me out, but... We don't know, we'll have to wait and see. So, obviously pure management, I'm not actually playing this right now. Obviously this is, you know, all down to my team selections and stuff like that, which, you know, I'm gonna, it's gonna be coming, okay? Just wait up, it's gonna be coming. Obviously if you don't wanna play it in 3D as well, you can also move it to 2D if that would, you know, if that's what you prefer, because obviously, you know, the choice is there, the option's there for you. So for me, we are gonna go, oh my goodness, okay, I've just actually, you know, seen a banger of a goal. That is the goal I've scored. I'm actually one nil up, but don't know why my name is Blinda Flora. I'm probably gonna try and change that, but, I'm playing against FC Barcelona B, of course, and it's just a friendly match. This doesn't count towards the league or anything like that. But I do get XP and I do get money for playing this game and stuff, which obviously later on I can use to, you know, buy players and stuff like that. Uh, uh, Jesus, mate, is that Jesus just absolutely scored a screamer for me? So that's a decent find. I think it was Jesus there. I think it was. Was that Jesus? Okay, I'm going to get mad on the old screen here a little bit. Now, obviously, in game here, you can change your tactics as well. As well. I'm going to go to just short passing. If you want to go long, you know, you can change that. It's up to you. Whatever your preferential style is. It depends on the players you've got, to be honest. I can't believe Gabriel Jesus has missed the sitter there as well. It depends on your style, boys and girls. If you've got something like Peter Crouch up there, you know what? You don't want to be putting in through balls along the ground to him, hoping he's going to sprint onto him. That's not what he wants. So, I win the game here. That is my first game with my team. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is jump back into some of the WTF stuff and cards game. What I'm going to do, after I've done a few more cards, I'm going to jump back into this game again, guys, Champions Eleven, and then we're going to play probably another game, see what we can do, have a look what sort of players available maybe, obviously there's loads of stuff to take a look at, so let's get back into it. So we're going to jump into some more of that later on in the video, of course, we'll do a couple more players now, and at the end of the video I'll show you guys what happened in my Champions Eleven progression. So the next one is Cristiano Ronaldo 2, maybe Man United or PSG, I mean this is absolutely huge, I mean we know he, he might be leaving, we don't know which club, but obviously the these two are here for, you know, the basis of the video, really. So, we know the situation is a bit risky. Apparently, it says here, Cristiano Ronaldo's mum prefers Man United return over PSG transfer. So, if he listens to his mum a lot, maybe he's going to United instead of Bale. I don't know. We know that United are not going to sign both. Let's be honest. Like, that's just way too much. That's just not going to happen. Financially, that doesn't make sense. It's not going to happen. Ronaldo's future at Real Madrid is up in the air after nine seasons in the Spanish capital. And United and PSG are amongst the favourites to sign him if he does leave the European champions. So, there's been loads of uproar at the minute. Something like to do with Real Madrid chief executive Perez. There's been like a bit of a debate between Ronaldo and him. I'm not really sure really what's going on. Apparently, his mum said in an interview, okay, to be honest, it wouldn't annoy me if he joined PSG, but I would prefer him to return to Manchester United. So that's what his mum's coming out and saying. Why is his mum making them sort of comments unless there's some sort of truth behind these rumours? I don't know. But anyway, Cristiano Ronaldo, the third player, massive. Can we see him at United? Can we see him back in FIFA 19 Premier League? Maybe, maybe. Touch wood. Now, definitely, we've got one of the best midfielders in Europe in a minute. Okay, and there's rumours he could be returning back to his old club, Thiago to Barcelona. Apparently, he's going to be leaving Bayern Munich, apparently. Now, it says here in this article, Bayern Munich set Thiago asking price. Okay, they are looking for 70 million euros, but could reduce the price to around 50 million if a player is included in the deal. So, you know what, Bayern Munich, they're saying that we'll give you, 50, you can have a 50 mil, but we want someone like Rakitic or something in return. Like, that's what they're sort of saying here. Now, Thiago, over the last few years, undoubtedly one of the most talented centre mids in Europe, no doubt about it. It. He's achieved a lot in Germany. He's obviously achieved quite a lot of back at Barcelona. Maybe it's time for that all-important return. Obviously, he's Spanish himself. So it's back to his home country. But now Iniesta's gone to Japan. There are, you know, areas in the team that need improving. And there are spaces for players like Thiago to come back and make a return. So they're very interested in signing uh, Thiago. To obviously Thiago, I couldn't even nearly call him Thiago, but it's Thiago, and of course they got the money, Barcelona, anything can happen, he's been there before, he knows the club, obviously he knows the country, I just think this one, just nearly set in stone. Then last of all, we got Griezmann, and then we're going to jump into more Champions Eleven before we end the video, Griezmann of Barcelona, obviously his transfer's been going around now for so long, but the reason this guy's made a feature is because Lionel Messi's actually spoke about him today in an interview, today in an interview, well, this video's coming out in a couple of days, but anyway, Lionel Messi's come out and spoke about him. Now, 
Messi, who has actually previously said he would welcome Griezmann in the Camp Nou, he actually turned around and said, I have always said it. It is easy to get along with great players and Griezmann is one of the best. He's going through an exceptional time in his career. The coach will then look at how he fits everyone in and he's obviously a great player and we would click together. This is Messi and Gri Messi talk about Griezmann. Whether Griezmann comes or not is up to the coach. It's still not 100% but obviously the more quality we have, the better. This is Lionel Messi talking about a current, you know, rival if you like, Griezmann, saying they, he wants him in the team. And when Messi called, you know, clicks his fingers, boys. Barcelona come running, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed these five biggest transfer rumors going around right now, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. It'd be greatly appreciated for a big transfer rumor episode. What I'm going to do now is jump into Champions 11 and show you how I progress. Now, for me, I obviously went on to win that game. I think it was 2-0 in the end. I think it was 2-0 in the end. Yeah, it was. So, I went on to play that game. 1-2-0, my first ever game in Champions 11. That was, of course, a friendly. There we go. Get loads of results. My player stats go up. They all get extra XP, even Gabriel Jesus. So that can send their ratings up, which means they can perform better for you in games, which I'm obviously going to need. Obviously, everyone's going to need that starting off, to be honest. So, there we go. Mason Holgate, I managed to get a little reward there for winning that game. So that's going to be good because, let's be honest, might not be the best Premier League footballer ever right now because he's still a youngster. But he's still going to fit into my team and he's going to be better than whatever I've got so far. Because, you know, I'm starting from the beginning. I've got someone like him. Who is definitely going to send my team to, you know, the next level, if you like. So there you go. Open my pack. Mason Holgate. 72 rated, actually, which is pretty decent. He's got a market price of 26000 as well. So if I want to sell him, if I want to get some money in to buy someone else, I can. There you go. There is his market value. Formation time. Am I going to stick with the same formation of 4-3-3? Three, three? Mm. Now I've gone away, okay, and I've played a little bit more of the game, and I want to just sort of add this to the end of the video, because I'm at now officially level 6, so obviously you've seen me play to get to level 2 or whatever at the start of the video, but now I'm level 6, my voice went there. So, loads of things have happened for me, loads of pretty good things, let me fast forward to sort of the things that have gone on there. So I'm upgrading Gabriel Jesus, obviously, he's not really banging the goals in a minute, so you can upgrade players with XP, obviously the more you play, etc, etc, the more XP you'll get. So I've upgraded Gabriel Jesus, I'm going to have a look at the squad here, make some adjustments as well. But lads, what I've got coming up, okay, is very interesting, okay. What I've got, I've actually managed to gain a lot of packs, okay. I've played a lot of games and I've got a lot of packs, so I thought I'd do the pack opening in the video. So, let's take a look. With that recent game, I just drew 0-0, basically. So, let's have a look. We've got Mason Holgate, obviously. We've got Rob Holden, Gabriel Zeus. We've got a few packs here. Let me show you guys what we managed to get in the first one. So, we've got... But I don't know how you pronounce it. Obviously, he used to play for Watford. Ashley Fletcher used to play for Man United back in the day. West Ham as well. Gooch, does that guy play for Bournemouth? I think it is. That's a good pack. Ashley Fletcher once again there. We've got a few other players as well. Where else are we get in this next one? And then we've got Bag. Okay, but what we've got is a few guaranteed player packs. So we've got Success. Obviously, this guy played for Watford as well. I don't know if he still does. I think he does. Then we've got Locatelli. Is that Locatelli? It is Locatelli. And then we've got Peter Crouch. So, you know... I've got a few good players now to really improve my team. Obviously, Crouch is going to go in there. Probably replace Gabriel Jesus. He's been underperforming at the minute. And obviously, I can now finally get rid of these rubbish ratings. Successes in the squad. Locatelli's in there as well. Going to get that other Watford centre mid in there. Or X Watford centre mid in there. Let's get... I think I'm going to put Peter Crouch up top as well, to be honest. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Because, you know, Gabriel Jesus is not really banging the goals for me so far. So, let's make a few changes here. And let's go into the game and see how, you know, my new level 6 squad after everything is uh, it gets on for me. So, success. Bangs the first goal for me. Very good. Instant impact. Obviously, changing the team around has led to, uh, you know, pretty good stuff for me. He's got himself a goal. Let's fast forward the gameplay a little bit. Let's go forward. He gets a penalty and then success bangs that as well. Two goals for him on his debut, which you've got to be pretty proud of. And then, end of the game. What was it? Is this a success cross into the box? No, it's not crouchy. Miss. What else is going on here? And yeah, there we go. Massive header at the back post um, from this other guy. And yeah, there we go. 3 0. So finally, no more draws. Finally wins and more packs. Like I say, if you want to download it, link is in the description. The more you play it, the more packs you get, the better stuff you get. And yeah, you can develop your squad. Obviously, my players are now improving as well, which is good stuff, good news. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Thank you for Champions 11 for supporting my content and supporting my videos, of course. I'm going to be streaming on Facebook as well. The link will be in the description if you want to go over there and obviously view that. I'm out, guys. Have a good day. Take it easy. Peace.